Hello everyone, uh, how is everything doing? Uh, today, um, I'm just gonna show you something. It's it's pretty uh, pretty deep, big deal for me. Uh, Hylian uh, just came out this uh, new uh, pattern like last week. Uh, it's not about uh, uh, hyper truck YRX nor uh, the, the hybrid system. Is about their uh, battery technology. Okay, so let's just uh, dive right in. Um, here you see uh, the patent website from uh, from US uh, patent, right? You go here, patent public search, and you start search. Okay, here just type highly on. Okay, voila. So a bunch of uh, Highly on patents, okay. And uh, oh, by the way, most of the patent, the inventor is the Thomas Healy, right? I think that's uh, that's pretty dope. The guy is a genius, right? So I don't see many CEO holding uh, holding um, patents of the company. Anyway, so today uh, the one patent I want to talk about is one, this one, right? Come uh, uh, come up uh, like last week. It's about their battery system. Uh, so the title says the battery pallet racking system. What what the hell is this, right? The so battery pallet racking system. Um, I, I, I skimmed the uh, I skimmed through the the pattern last last week. I mean not last night. I I, I won't read this uh, this lengthy pattern in the video, right? It's pretty boring. There's a lot of uh, things, right? But if you guys are interested, you can uh, read yourself. Uh, uh, in the video, I'm just gonna give you uh, like a high level, right? So from from what I uh, understand, uh, what it is and what it does and why it's a big deal, right? Uh, so before I go into this, I just want to show you something else, right? So uh, in China, probably, uh, uh, we, we already know in China new right new company had this uh, battery swap technology right basically if you if you uh, if you battery car low on battery you can drive to one of these uh, stations and it is a swapped battery and uh, there you go right so it's uh, the, the biggest advantage is uh, it's the fastest charging so there's no uh, charging time it's save lots of uh, time right so I think uh, highly is trying to do the same thing but uh, for the truck for the semi truck okay so that's that um, another thing I want to you guys learn before going to the to the to the pattern is what the what is the battery pallet the racking system what it looks like right I want to give you the visual um, idea what it looks like right so uh, here is the the, the, the the cargo pallet, right? So you put the cargo on top of this pallet, right? Then the forklift can like uh, load or unload from the truck, right? So there, um, Helium battery uh, pallet looks very similar to this uh, wood pallet, right? So I, I, I like I said, I, re I uh, read the, like, like the, the pattern last night and uh, in the pallet, uh, in, in the in the pattern, right? They talk about the, the, the dimension of the, the battery pallet. So it's a, like a 48 by 48, and the thickness is um, like 48 inches. So um, it's pretty much the same dimension of this. So so in your mind, if you think what it, what is the the pallet, what it looks like, it looks like exactly, I mean, similar. Uh, to uh, to this, right? I mean, think about it. It, 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 it makes sense, right? So it, because uh, it, eventually this battery uh, pallet will, will be carried by a like forklift, for example, right? So it's it makes sense to make uh, make it similar to the actual pallet, like wood pallet, right? So and you will see in the diagram of the pattern, there is a pallet, there is a forklift carry uh, the the battery pallet. Right, so yeah, that's another thing I want you guys uh, to to get in your brain before going into the 
the pattern, right? So, uh, so everything is described in this uh, in this pattern here. That, that uh, all the paragraph, but I'm not going to read through the the lengthy paragraph. I'm just going to go through the the, the, the the diagram. It's it's much easier for you guys to uh, to understand. Uh, but so here is the, one of the diagram, right? So all these numbers, uh, what it means is described in the in the uh, in the paragraph. So uh, I, I can just tell you uh, right now, right? So you don't have to like uh, go to reference. Like uh, I mean, you can, but then uh, not in the video, right? Um, we don't have to do it in the video. So uh, one o two. It's the tractor, right? The truck. Uh, 104 is the, the trailer, right? Um, 110, so this is the one really important uh, number. 110, it reference to the, the battery pallet, right? So again, one of this, right? Just a sli slice of uh, bread, like, like a slice of, slice of bread. It's not a bulky uh, cubic thing, right? It's not bulky cubic thing. It's a it's a slice of bread, right? Uh, here it may looks like um, it's a, a, a cubic, but it's it's not. It's actually uh, it's it's installed uh, uh, on the wall, right? It's like a flat flat uh, flat uh, TV or something. It's it's uh, uh, installed on the wall, right? It's not a cubic thing. It take up the whole space of the front of the trailer. No. It's um, it just take some like four to four to eight inches of the the width of the truck. You can still shove some sh cargo uh, a, a, a adjacent to the to the to the battery pallet, right? So that's the one one zero. That's the the battery pallet. One o five is the cargo extra cargo. One o eight is the top of the trailer. Okay, one o seven is the four is the four wall of the trailer. The four wall, okay. The front wall, the front wall, the, the back wall, and the two side wall, okay. And the one o six is the the bottom, okay. And the one one six, uh, this is like the connector between the uh, the battery pallet or char charge 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 port. Or some connection between the, tra uh, the trailer and the tractor. So just think of the one one six. It's some some sort of connection, right? Either for charging or connect um, the battery. Okay. Okay. So in the in the in the pattern, it describes uh, like uh, there are a couple of ways to con uh, configuring like how to install the battery pallet. One is uh, put on put uh, like a uh, on the side wall, like like it shows here, okay. And if you go to the next diagram, so this is the same. I think the same as the last one. The next one, okay, here, right? The, here you see one one zero. So that's the the battery pallet. He install on uh, on in, in front of the 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 trailer, right? So you can see how much space he still have for the cargo. Right, install it's vertically vertical uh, configuration. Okay, and uh, here you can see it work vertically installed uh, on the back of the the trailer. Right, so one at the one at the front, one at the back. Right, and the, the, in the middle there's the there's the cargo uh, for all the cargos. Right, and so this one you can see. Actually, use the forklift, put it on the bottom of the bottom of the trailer. Pretty, pretty good idea, eh? So you don't waste the space for the cargo, right? Okay, here's another diagram for the warehouse. Actually, warehouse. Let like to give you idea how the whole thing uh, works, right? So in the warehouse, you have uh, the the goods, right? The the good pallet, the cargo pallet, and here you have the battery pallet, right? So uh, this one is like a vertical configuration, right? 
this is like the flat on the ground configuration like for the for install cargo at the at the bottom right so different configurations right this one is like a kind of like a stack up right so like a stack up right okay and and uh, maybe they are in charge they are charging right so charging uh in the in the warehouse and waiting for the next truck coming in to install to be installed on the truck right and here you can see there are like a docking system right the docking so you can see here the battery it was installed uh, in installed on the front of the trailer right this is per this is the bird's eye view, right? So from top to, to bottom, right? So you can see the the battery is vertically installed on the front of the uh, trailer. And this one like shows different configuration. It's installed on the on the on the back of the trailer. And this one you can see this is a this one, right? So installed on the on the bottom of the trailer. So that's why there's a dash line, right? So this is the the bat, uh, the battery, right? So, so, and you can also like definitely you can also inst install like a both, right? So you, you can install the both on the front and the back, or like I said, also you can install on the side wall, right? So, but it didn't show here, right? It, it, in the in the in the pattern this diagram, I'm mean, sorry, sorry, uh, par par paragraph, it actually talk about install on the side of the uh, the wall, right? So just like this, right? Just like this on the side of the wall, right? So there's multiple ways you can install this. So um, in the pattern, they uh, they also give some example as why um, they doing this and uh, and what's the use case for for this um, swappable um, uh, battery technology. So for example. Uh, Think about think about this uh, scenario, right? So so this truck tried to deliver mo uh, multiple cargos to multiple stores, right? So, um, but uh, one or two battery cannot cover the whole mileage, right? So the idea is kind of like doing the relay, right? Relay uh, approach, uh, where you deliver the first cargo to the first store, and uh, so if the battery one of the battery pallet is low on battery. So you immediately swap the battery, and uh, then you can go deliver on the the second pallet, right? And if the second pallet, so when you reach the next store, and the second battery pallet is low, and you unload the cargo and uh, swap another another one, right? And so on and so forth until you um, deliver the all the all the cargo, right? So. Um, it's like a relay, a relay uh, uh, process, right? Um, so I, I, I will assume like each warehouse or each uh, uh, store will have this uh, battery, uh, um, like a uh, battery stored, right? There, there is a multiple uh, battery pallet at each store, like a uh, charged and ready to be used, right? So this way they will save lots of uh, charging time, right? So you don't have to charge wait there and the charge while while you uh, load or unload the cargo right you can install doing the install of the pallet right so the doing the, uh, the simultaneously right so uh, there's no time wasted right so that's uh, I think that's a pretty uh, pretty uh, uh, neat idea so uh, that's all I want to talk about uh, uh, about this pattern so of course, uh, there's uh, may, there may something I, I didn't uh, I didn't mention. Uh, you guys, if you guys are interested, you can uh, you can uh, do some investigation, right? Uh, read uh, read the pattern. But overall, I think this is uh, this is a big big deal, right? So it open it opened uh, another uh, revenue stream for for Hylion, right? Uh, the potential of this it's 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 no smaller than the trucking itself, right? So you Im imagine you sell um, the battery pallet to, to all the uh, uh, battery uh, trucking company, right? So if this adopted in the industry, th this is a pretty, pretty huge, uh, pretty huge revenue uh, for, for, for Hylion. So 
Yeah, thanks for watching. So, uh, um, what do you guys think of this uh, this uh, pattern? And uh, leave the comment down below. So, let me know. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a nice day.